What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Fluxion. You're going to need two things for Fluxion to work. First is a Linux distribution. I'm on Kali Linux on a virtual machine. And the second thing is a wireless adapter as monitor mode. I'm currently using the Alpha AWUS 0 51 NH. It supports 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and also has monitor mode. I will leave a link down in the description below so you can order it off of Amazon if you want to. Um, I'll probably do a review on it later or in a future video. Anyways, uh, the first thing which you're going to want to do is scroll to the bottom where it says installation. And you're going to want to copy this first line of uh, script or this first script and paste it into the uh, terminal. I already have it installed so all I really need to do is do cd fluxion and inside of fluxion just simply run the fluxion.sh. When fluxion.sh is ran it will check to see if the dependencies are installed. If not it will automatically install them which will take maybe another minute or so and uh, after you install the dependencies it should take you to this page where you should select your language. Um, my language is obviously English, so I'm going to select number four, and that's going to show your wireless adapters, and mine is on WLAN 0. If yours did not come up, you can uh, uh, unplug it and replug it uh, back in, and select number two to basically refresh uh, the wireless interface page. Since mine's up here and it's WLAN 1, I'm going to select number one. And it's going to put your device into monitor mode. Uh, if your device is currently being used, uh, like to connect to the Wi-Fi, you're going to have to disconnect it, uh, or else Fluxion will not put it into monitor mode. It can't be random uh, run in monitor mode. Um, and the next thing is, it's going to ask you to select a channel. Um, I'm going to select all channels since I want to get all the access points in my area. But if you wanted to do a more targeted attack, uh, you could simply select number two and select a specific channel. Now, as you can see on the top right, the Fluxion scanner is on and is currently scanning uh, around me for wireless access points. And uh, you can leave this on for like a couple seconds to a minute, doesn't really matter. I'm going to close out of this. Once you have closed out of it, you will get a list of access points that it has uh, detected. It will tell you their security, the channel, and the BSSID, also the quality and the power. <laughs> um, I'm going to be targeting number seven, so I will type in number seven. And once you have typed that in, uh, or got the targeted router, um, it's going to bring up this page. It's going to ask you for, or it's going to give you a option to select Captive Portal or Handshake Snooper. Now, before we can do use the Captive Portal, we first need to get a Handshake. And in order to get the Handshake, uh, we have to select number two. And this will basically de-auth the clients um, so we can capture the Handshake. And then once we use the Captive Portal, it will verify that Handshake when they type in the password, if that makes any sense. So select number two, and we get have a few options here. Um, we have monitor passive, AirPlay NG deauth, and the MDK3 deauth. Um, the difference between passive and deauthentication is passive just waits until a client disconnects and reconnects to the uh, access point for when we can uh, capture the handshake, and deauth basically just kicks them off. Now. The authentication has been patched in uh, W or in 802.11W, and I don't think there's really a way to check. Um, so you are just going to have to, I guess, try the authentication. Um, and that for for most parts, basically 90% of the time, 95% of the time, I would say that uh, it is not patched. Basically, all routers don't have it patched, maybe only corporate buildings and such have it patched, because they obviously have to have a higher security. Um, so for the most part though, the authentication will work. So select number two, and for the verification, choose the pirate verification. And what this will do is it will load up the windows that will start to send the deauthentication packets. As you can see in the bottom right, the deauth packets are being sent to my router. And on my phone, which you cannot see, 
uh, it is currently, yep, it just got kicked off and it has uh, reconnected to the router. Now, what this has done is essentially kicked off my phone from the uh, router and reconnected it, but when the phone reconnected, it got the handshake. So if I go to Fluxion, Attacks, Handshake, Snooper, and Handshakes, we have the handshake to my router right here. Now this is very important because we will need this in a another attack, which is the Captive Portal. And this will basically authenticate the password um, or verify the password that the user types in. So if I go to number one, which is the Captive Portal, and we are giving two options here, Ethernet and WLAN 0. Select WLAN 0, do not select Ethernet, so that'd be stupid. And what this will do is it will set up a captive portal. So we have the Rogue AP Host APD and Rogue AP Airbase NG. Select Host APD, and then it will ask you to if this is the right handshake file. 90% of the time it is, but if you want to go double check, I just showed you where the directory was. So select yes, and then select pirate verification once again. And as you can see right here, uh, the hash verification was complete. We can now create a SSL certificate, or we can detect one. I'm just going to create one, and it will give you a whole list of options here for your captive portal. It's going to give you a bunch of generic portals in different languages. It's also going to give you uh, different types of uh, portals, as you can see, with different languages. For this demonstration, I'm going to use generic, so I'm going to hit number 7. And once I hit number 7, in the top left, as you can see, it is showing that I'm connecting to the rogue access point. And with the rogue access point, as you can see right here, it's going to ask me for the WPA key. So if I type in a password, and then the top right, as you can see, that it has found the Wi-Fi password. Now, what will happen to the uh, what will happen now is that it will kick my phone off uh, of the captive portal and put it back onto the original. It will put it back onto the access point which it was on before. And in the top right, you can see we have the Wi-Fi password. So that's how you use Fluxion to get a Wi-Fi password. Um, if you're having any troubles uh, with this, then leave a comment down below and I will be sure to help you out. And uh, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of my content on my channel. This is my first video. So uh, yeah, anyways, um, hopefully you'll see you in the next one.